Welcome adventurers, to the vast and magical world of Dungeons and Dragons, where legends come to life and imagination soars free like an eagle in the skies. Today, we will delve into the dark yet captivating realm of elementals, ancient creatures and powerful embodiments of the four primary elements, earth, water, air, and fire. However, our focus will specifically rest upon the earth elemental, an imposing force that instills fear and respect in those who dare to challenge its subterranean domain. Prepare to be drawn into an epic journey through the depths of the earth, where ancient mysteries intertwine with primal magic, and where only the bravest dare to venture. The time has come to unveil the secrets of the earth elemental in Dungeons and Dragons. The Earth Elemental is one of the mighty creatures that populate the vast universe of Dungeons and Dragons, also known as D.A.D., a fantasy role-playing game created by Gary Gigax and Dave Arneson. These creatures are magical and ancient beings, embodiments of the Earth Element itself and its primordial qualities. Earth Elementals in Dungeons and Dragons are fascinating creatures whose nature and characteristics reflect the very essence of the Earth Element. To fully understand these majestic entities, it's important to explore their origins and distinctive features. Legendary Origins The origins of Earth elementals date back to ancient legends and mythologies that tell of beings linked to the Earth and its mysteries. In many traditions, creatures similar to Earth elementals have been described as guardians of hidden treasures, protectors of sacred places, or even as children of the mountains themselves. These stories have shaped the imagination surrounding Earth elementals, giving them an aura of mystery and grandeur. Elemental nature, Earth elementals are magical and primordial beings, embodiments of the Earth element itself. They are composed entirely of rock, earth, and minerals, giving them extraordinary solidity and resilience. Their form can vary from huge stone golems to shapeless masses of Earth, depending on their manifestation and power. Strength and resilience, the physical strength of earth elementals is impressive. They can lift huge rocky masses and cause destruction with their sheer power. Their resilience is equally remarkable, able to withstand physical damage with a firmness that defies understanding. This combination of strength and resilience makes them formidable adversaries for adventurers who dare to challenge their underground dwellings. Intelligent elementals, despite their elemental nature, Earth elementals are not simple creatures devoid of intelligence. Some of them possess a form of consciousness and intelligence, albeit different from that of mortal creatures. These elementals can communicate telepathically or even speak, although they often prefer silence or the language of rocks and earth. Role in the Deity World Earth elementals play an important role in the magical ecosystem of Dungeons and Dragons. They are guardians of secret places, custodians of hidden treasures, and defenders of ancient sanctuaries. Some can be valuable allies for those who manage to gain their favor, while others pose a threat to anyone who dares to disturb their underground realm. Earth elementals in Dungeons and Dragons are known for their powerful abilities and powers, which reflect their connection to the Earth element and its primordial qualities. These extraordinary abilities make them formidable adversaries and imposing guardians of their underground realms. Let's explore in more detail their abilities and distinctive powers. Earth Manipulation Earth elementals are masters at manipulating the Earth itself. They can lift gigantic boulders, create seismic shocks, shape the terrain, and cause landslides with a simple movement. This ability to manipulate the surrounding environment makes them incredibly versatile and dangerous in battle. Natural Regeneration Thanks to their elemental nature, Earth elementals can regenerate damage sustained during battle. This ability makes them extremely resilient, as they can repair damage inflicted during clashes with surprising speed. This regeneration makes them even more formidable challengers for adventurers seeking to defeat them. Elemental resistance Earth elementals are naturally resistant to physical damage and attacks of an earthy nature. Their rocky and solid form makes them practically immune to cutting or piercing attacks while their connection to the earth element protects them from magical effects related to other elements. Territoriality and control Earth elementals often demonstrate a strong sense of territoriality and control over their underground abode. They can create illusions, deceptions, or even traps to protect their territory and drive away intruders. 
Some may be able to control lesser creatures or even assume command of smaller elemental beings. Magical power. Some of the most powerful earth elementals also possess extraordinary magical abilities. They can cast spells related to earth and rock, such as creating stone golems, generating fields of rocky force, or even causing devastating earthquakes. These magical powers make them even more formidable in battle and distinguish them as beings of greater power. In conclusion, the abilities and powers of earth elementals make them a force not to be underestimated in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Their ability to manipulate earth and rock, combined with their resilience and magical powers, make them formidable adversaries for anyone daring to challenge them in their underground dwellings. The behavior of earth elementals in Dungeons and Dragons is influenced by their elemental nature, mythological origins, and their role in the game's ecosystem. Let's explore in more detail the behavior of these majestic creatures. Solitude and isolation, earth elementals tend to be solitary creatures, preferring to reside in the depths of the earth away from the gaze of mortals. They are often found in underground caves, rocky labyrinths, or deep within mountains. Their solitude is an intrinsic characteristic of their nature, as they are ancient beings bound to the earth itself. Guardians and Custodians Many earth elementals act as guardians and custodians of sacred places, hidden treasures, or ancient sanctuaries. They jealously protect what they consider their territory, firmly and determinately repelling intruders. Their loyalty to the territory they guard drives them to defend it with all their might, even at the cost of their own lives. Indifference towards mortals, earth elementals often show indifference or disinterest towards mortals and their affairs. Being the creatures linked to the earth element, they may perceive the mortal world as fleeting and transient compared to the stability and solidity of the earth. This attitude of indifference makes them unpredictable and difficult to influence with promises or threats. Defensive aggression, despite their solitude and indifference towards mortals, earth elementals can become extremely aggressive if they feel threatened or if their territory is violated. They may attack without hesitation anyone who dares to disturb their subterranean peace, using their strength and powers to repel intruders. Unusual alliances, despite their solitary nature, some earth elementals may form unusual alliances with mortal creatures or other magical entities. These alliances may be based on common interests, such as defending a shared territory or seeking ancient treasures. However, these alliances are often fragile and subject to sudden changes, as earth elementals always maintain a sense of independence and autonomy. In conclusion, the behavior of earth elementals is characterized by solitude, defensive aggression, and indifference towards mortals. They jealously protect their territory and show little consideration for the affairs of the outside world. However, they can be valuable allies or formidable opponents for brave adventurers who dare to challenge their underground dwellings. In the world of Dungeons and Dragons, Earth elementals appear in a wide range of shapes and forms, but they all share a deep connection with the Earth element. Let's explore the various aspects that these imposing beings can take. Massive rock forms, Earth elementals can appear as towering masses of rock, stone, and minerals with a corporeal structure reminiscent of the solidity and resilience of the mountains themselves. They can be tall and massive, with irregular shapes of rocks and boulders composing their bodies. Gigantic stone golems, some earth elementals manifest as gigantic stone golems, created from the fusion of animated rocky masses. These golems have a more humanoid-like form, with well-defined limbs and torso composed of stone and rock. Formless earth creatures, on other occasions, earth elementals can take on more formless shapes, resembling floating masses of soil and mud. These elementals may be more fluid in their structure, allowing them to move with agility and flexibility through the terrain. Crystalline mineral entities Some earth elementals are primarily composed of crystalline minerals, such as quartz, amethyst, or rock crystal. These entities glow with an inner light and refract the colors of the surrounding environment, giving them a magnificent and majestic appearance. Size variability, earth elementals can vary significantly in size, from relatively small and compact creatures to towering giants that dominate the horizon. Their size may be influenced by their power and the amount of elemental energy animating them. Regardless of the specific form they take, 
Earth elementals always maintain an impressive aura of strength and solidity. Their appearance reflects their elemental nature and their bond with the Earth element, giving them an imposing presence on the battlefield and in the subterranean depths they call home. Earth elementals, being creatures linked to the Earth element, are often associated with underground habitats and rocks, reflecting their primordial nature and affinity with the depths of the Earth. Let's explore their distinctive habitats. Cavus and caverns, underground caves and caverns are the most common habitats for earth elementals. These rocky labyrinths offer refuge and protection to the elementals, allowing them to move freely through the terrain and hide from the prying eyes of mortals. Abandoned undergrounds, earth elementals can also inhabit abandoned undergrounds, such as ancient mines or long-forgotten underground cities. These places offer them a rich hunting ground and the opportunity to retrieve ancient treasures hidden among the ruins. Mountains and hills, rocky mountains and hills are other favorite habitats for earth elementals. Their massive and solid forms blend perfectly with the surrounding landscape, allowing them to camouflage themselves and surprise intruders with sudden attacks. Subterranean depths, earth elementals are most comfortable in the subterranean depths away from the sunlight and the clamor of the outside world. They can create intricate and complex homes within caves and tunnels, where they can rest and protect their treasures. Dormant volcanoes In some cases, earth elementals may be associated with dormant volcanoes and geothermal regions. These places are rich in elemental energy and offer elementals a source of power and vitality. They can also use volcanic energy to amplify their powers and increase their strength in battle. Regardless of the specific habitat, earth elementals prefer underground and rocky regions, where they can move with ease and exploit their natural abilities. These places represent their territory and domain, and anyone daring to challenge the elementals within these habitats must be prepared to face their fierce defense of their territory. Earth elementals in dungeons the dragons are powerful creatures tied to the earth element, but like any creature, they also have their weaknesses. Despite being formidable adversaries, Earth Elementals can be defeated if players manage to exploit their vulnerabilities. Yet are some of their main weaknesses. Magic attacks Despite their physical resistance, Earth Elementals are often vulnerable to magic attacks, especially those related to opposing elements. For example, spells of fire or life energy can cause considerable damage to Earth Elementals, who are accustomed to fighting in underground and rocky environments. Limited mobility, earth elementals, especially those with massive and heavy forms, may struggle to move agilely on uneven terrain or in open environments. Exploiting their limited mobility can allow players to attack and retreat more easily, reducing the risk of sustaining heavy damage. Elemental weakness, despite being tied to the earth element, earth elementals can be weak against creatures or spells related to other elements. For example, water, ice, or electricity spells can inflict greater damage to earth elementals, who may not be prepared to face such threats. Environmental manipulation, earth elementals are masters at manipulating the surrounding environment, but this can be used against them. Players can exploit environmental traps or spells that alter the terrain to trap or confuse earth elementals, thereby reducing their effectiveness in battle. Vulnerability to dispersive magic, some spells and magical items can temporarily disperse or neutralize the elemental energy animating earth elementals. For example, dissolution spells or magical items like dispersion stones can temporarily reduce their strength and resistance, allowing players to gain an advantage in battle. Exploiting these weaknesses can be crucial to defeating earth elementals and overcoming the challenges they present. However, Players should be prepared to face their fierce determination and imposing presence in the depths of the earth. In a world where rocks guard ancient secrets and earthquakes tell forgotten tales, earth elementals remain majestic guardians of the underground depths. Whether as relentless adversaries or unsuspected allies, their power and grandeur constantly remind us of the greatness and beauty of the earth element in Dungeons and Dragons.